room in Verona. It's a shared bathroom, uh, bio, bio it's called, in Italian. The kitchen. I have to buy things, but I can make coffee and tea to myself if I want to. So this is my room and very nice. Very nice actually. Good morning. Dog at a shoe Det är näst sista dagen här i Verona och uh, klockan är 12 tror jag. Så har jag tagit det ändå rätt lugnt idag också. Det tråkiga som hände igår kväll som jag upptäckte det är att well, på vägen hem så tog batteriet i min kamera, min, min kortkamera slut. Det har liksom aldrig hänt förut. Och jag testade med alla mina kablar och tydligen så har jag inte med mig den kabeln som ser till att ladda min kamera. Det var ju tråkigt. Jag har ju ett extra batteri men jag menar det kommer ju inte att hålla hela vägen. Ett batteri höll i fyra dagar. Nu ska vi se här, vänta nu. Jag ska ju gå till en fot av affär och nu ska jag inte börja med att gå fel. Jag tror att jag började med att gå fel. Det är lite svårt här faktiskt att orientera sig. Men jag har kollat ut om det, om det finns några, det var tre stycken som kom upp på kartan. Och förhoppningsvis kan jag hitta antingen en kabel eller en batteriladdare så att jag kan ladda batteriet. Vi får se. Sen, det blir nog lite att gå in i kyrkor eller ja, sådär. Och, och bort till Romano. Och kanske då avsluta med trädgården. Vi får se. Trädgården har varit på tapeten redan från första dagen, men det har inte blivit av än. Sen imorgon är sista dagen. So I'm back to where I was the first day. But this time I know where I am. And I'm on my way to the camera shop. I will pass a church, I think. This is Parco della Mura. This is actually a defense. This is the outer wall of, of Verona's defense. Bastion. Bastillon. You can see it. It's very thick. I don't know where it's from. Uh, but it's from a long time ago. <laughs> this is also a church I'm going to visit. San Zeno. Which is supposed to be a very nice one. This is, what do you call it, a fortification? Uh, yeah, this is some kind of war thing. This is a place where I photographed, I, I took a photo from this place. So hopefully we'll get to see a nice church. Oh, I should look for a photo shops as well. The church is the other side. Now, the sign also says a cross, so it says stop. No further. Oh, it's quite nice though. Uh, the closed church right behind me. And there you see the Tower of Sansen. Sansan, Sansen. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna go to this viewpoint, but now I've seen it. Because there is a viewpoint over there if you want to go there. I don't remember its name. I don't remember its name. So, keep on walking. The streets of Verona. The streets of Verona. History in every corner. And here it is. Van Zend. Uh, it's huge. Very, very big. But I got it from behind. <laughs> so I need to go walk around it and see it from the other side. From the front.
This is quite interesting. It's a fresco of the Last Supper. But there is scorpions laying on the table. Hmm. Interesting. Bronze door. This is the Old Testament. This is about yeah Adam and Eve in the Adam and Eve and the, they are banished and then you have uh, Cain and Abel and what else there was some yeah some things there uh, and I remember they told me in the end here we have the Noah's Ark yeah this is the New Testament. This is the story about sort of Jesus, yeah. What did I, uh, the entrance in Jerusalem, uh, and you have what else? Oh yeah, the, that's the Last Supper. And then we have, they take Jesus, and uh, it's the cross bearing, and then there's the crucifixion, and they're waiting at a tomb. And this, the holiness of God. And the end. Frescoes are actually very, not only I don't can see important, but very odd, strange, and nothing that I've seen before. It's not the pictures itself, the frescoes it's, it's, itself. It is that it has ancient graffiti written on them. Look here. It's amazing, and and this. This tells stories about plagues, wars, and other major events that has been occurred. This is dated 1548, someone, 1632, 1780. It's like letters from yesteryears. Look at that, 1460, it looks like. This is actually, this is amazing. 1390. Year of 1390. I think this is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Graffiti from yesteryears. I found it, but God damn it, it's closed. Oh, it doesn't open until I think four o'clock and it's half past two now. Oh. <laughs> okay, I have a few other options, so I'm gonna head into town and uh, hopefully the other photo shops are open. We'll see. But a uh, ticket uh, that includes uh, four churches, Quattro Chiesa. 
the other three ones are situated on the other side, sort of on the eastern side. This is the west side. So I uh, walk myself through to the other side. So I found another one uh, and it was also closed. Okay, so now I dropped that for a minute because now it's far away to the next one. And uh, I'll uh, concentrate on Domo. I wonder where it is. This is Ponte Garibaldi. That's the same uh, war uh, woman that was uh, on a statue. I got the tagliatelle with uh, con carne, with some meat, and it was like uh, yeah, meat sauce, like uh, chestnut sauce, and it t tasted nothing. There was no taste at all, so that was kind of a um, disappointment. But I got something in my stomach though, so. And I'm about to enter Il Domo. It's like ancient all over and look at that so let's see here ingresso entrance oh my god this is a, a very strange small entrance but uh, why not going to the third church now it's very close close by and I'm looking for the street Il Dumo and I think it's right here and I'm going to let's see Chiesa Santa Steph no Chiesa Santa Anastasia yeah so this is the way
now I've been into uh, Santa Angelestina. <laughs> Santa Anastasia. I I got an audio guide, but I didn't listen to it at all. I listened to the choir and then walked around uh, because this was um, yeah. That was that. Uh, well, I have one church left, but I'm not going to do that one today. It's 5:30 because the camera shop uh, is on the way home, and I wonder how long it will be open. So I'm going to check that. And probably I'm going to the Romano Romano Theatre. Hmm. Before that. Uh yeah. So what I need to do is to go to the back of the church and then I'll need to go uh, across Puente Nuevo and then there's Teatro Romano. And I checked the camera shop and it will close at 7 o'clock, so it's in 1 hour and 30 minutes. The exterior of Santa Anastasia, Santa Anastasia. I mean, it's a musical, goddammit. How hard can it be? Look. It has been the least... Uh, how do you say least interesting day in Verona and that's all because you know went for the camera shop hunt and uh, it hasn't been well the churches has been nice oh this is nice though this looks very nice but now I've already been eating and I've been walking very much outside the center of Verona and that's also been quite nice but not nice 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 you know and I probably should see the Teatro Romano from here. Is it over there? I'm supposed to walk over this. It might be nothing over there. I'll have to check so I don't walk over the wrong bridge. Okay, this is the real Veronian street. Beautiful. Talking. <laughs> but the amphitheater should, Romano should be over here. And I don't. Maybe it's uh, hidden. But and there's the castle, San Pietro, I think, on the top there. So we'll see if I can get in. Maybe it's just open for the public when it's uh, concerts and stuff. I yeah, I found the entrance, but I think it will take a while to walk walk through it. So I'm waiting for that until tomorrow, actually. And my plans for now, before the Photoshop closes at 19 hours, on my way back, going to Julia's tomb. And now I come back to the river. Is it the river is on the other side here? It is just okay to be walking walking around you see such beautiful places so i crossed the bridge and here we have well uh, some uh, clues this is langua di capuletti capuletti street we have uh, nice fortifications here that's nothing to do about uh, shakespeare though and uh, let's see if i can find the tomb of Juliet. I found the church, but don't know if it's open. Slutscenerna av Romeo och Julia skulle utspela sig i en tom, tom grav. Men 
Inget av det här är ju sant, men det... Jag vet inte om det syns, men det här är ett hjärta. I alla fall ser det ut så härifrån. Det är till höger. Det är rätt coolt. Det är ett hjärta i Julias gravvalv. Actually, I think they closed at eight, uh, six thirty, and now it's six forty-five. So no wonder it's not open to, in the wedding room. What's all these white things here? Somebody has celebrated. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go quite fast, but not very fast, and, and try to see if I can get to the camera shop in fifteen minutes or in ten minutes. Uh, I dropped my gimbal, my Osmo pocket, uh, and now it won't work. So I might have been destroying it outside Julia's tomb. <laughs> Maybe I have some fucking up insurance so I can get some money back and, and have another one. Okay, I have to look and see where I'm gonna go. Bye. Okay, so that photo express was just you know, to to framkalla to receive your photos from your camera. So, but she was very nice. Uh, she couldn't speak English, but but she told me that apparatura photo. Here I go. It's through the vault here, and then turn left, and uh, then there should be a photo shop. It's not a good journey for me and my camera set up. Maybe they're telling me that I have too many of them, I don't know. I have this one, I have that one, I have my iPhone and I have my gimbal. My, my Osmo. I need to rename it. Yes, I do. I need to have a name for my gimbal, my Osmo pocket, my pocket park, my pocket park, my pick pocket. Pick a pocket or two. Well, I'll think about it. So here we have the vault. They're actually opening the arena, the opera season of the arena today, tonight at nine o'clock. And I think it's La Traviata, I'm not sure. Si, La Traviata. Look at the ceilings. Here we go. This is the place that I ate the first day. Uh, teatro, uh, Café del Teatro. Foto Garzenio. Maybe that's... But it's probably not open. Oh, it's open. It says so. Well, thank you, Foto Garzenio. I got a multiple charger that works with every kind of uh, these batteries. So that's good. Now I can relax and now I can take as many photos as I want. Well, I have to see if it works first. So now what? I'm sort of heading home and tomorrow is my last whole day in Verona. Now maybe I'm gonna eat something now. But when you go to restaurants, it's like not cheap at all. No cheapo. My lunch was 200 Swedish crowns today. So I can't have it like that. Maybe I'll just uh, eat something from, you know, buy something from the pan to eat at home. Yeah, because now I'm at Piazza Bra and here it's very touristic. And so the prices won't be cheap here. Decisions, decisions. This is Torta Rossa. Torta Rossa di Verona. I'm really not that hungry, but... This is actually the first time I'm not as really, really, really tired in the evening. I could go on. How can, can I go on? You know? Uh, my feet hurt a little bit, but not too much. 
and my ankle. Uh, I've been, um, yeah, I've been keeping an eye on it. Uh, not literally, literally, literally. And um, yeah, so and it's Friday. That's what it is because you feel the atmosphere in the city. That's there's something going on, 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 on. <laughs> Still not gonna stay here. So I'm heading home and maybe take like a burg or something by the fortress, by the fortification kind of things. Yeah, that's what I'll do. And I also brought some beer so I can go up to the fort uh, and uh, sit there on the grass and pretend it's midsummer and have a beer out in the green. That's, that's a plan. And you see a lot of, you know, dressed up people, women. It's really nice because it's in the middle of a town. You don't see it that much in Stockholm. Like they are very dressed up and stuff and we're just walking down the street singing hoo ba dum be dee doo I can stop the feeling. Oh, me Mmm, good mm. got vodka. Mmm, what? Uns, 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 uns